welcome back to another studio vlog or if you're new here welcome my name is millie and i'm a calligrapher and graphic designer and i like to make videos on youtube i'm actually filming this little section on the day of editing the video so it's editing millie here i have just edited the whole studio vlog but i realized i had a little bit of footage from the week before of unboxing some really lovely pens that were kindly gifted to me and i really wanted to show you what they were because it's really nice that they have been gifted. The lovely people over at Artisa got in contact with me and asked if I wanted to try out some of their pens. They have sent me some other pens previously and I really like them, but they wanted to send me some blendable pens, which obviously if you've been here for a while, you know I love blending. It's just something I really enjoy. So I just wanted to firstly say a huge thank you to Artisa for sending me these free products. It's so kind of them. They haven't paid me to mention them at all. I don't need to mention them in the studio vlog, but this gift is so generous and I really want to share them with you because I thought you'd just be really interested to see them. I've just got them here in front of me if you're wondering why I'm looking down. They are so beautiful. I have used these pens already. I did an Instagram post using them and blending them together and they were so nice to use. I really, really like them. I thought you'd like to see the unboxing of these pens. I'm the kind of person who loves a little unboxing video. I like being a bit nosy. So yeah, thank you so much to Arsa for sending me these pens. And let's cut to a couple of weeks ago. Hi guys, it is the 9th of June day and I'm not actually doing a studio vlog this week. However, I got a super exciting package from the lovely people at Artisa and I wanted to unbox it with you. So that's what we're going to do now. So I've previously been sent some pens from Artisa before and I really like them. In fact, I actually used one of their acrylic markers for the chalkboard I did in a studio vlog a month or so ago. And it was really good. I loved the quality of it and the colour was great as well. They also sent me some blendable pens. Um, most of those were in a skin tone colour, but they've just bought out a new set of these blendable pens and they asked me if I wanted to try them. And oh my God, this Bix, this Bix, this box is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. So these are the pens. So they are Everblend art markers and there's 36 pens in this. This is the tropical set. They gave me the option between tropical or pastel and you know me, I like my bright colors. So I asked if I could try out the tropical set. Oh my God, this box looks amazing. So let's get this open and have a little look. Mm. So this is the box and it's so fancy so it flips up and this is like a really sturdy box so i guess you can store your pens in this box you don't need to take them out anywhere look at all of those pretty colors they look so nice this box is so good I like that little detail that it just says artisan on the box there and this back in. That's so satisfying. So I guess if you don't want to have this lid flapping around on your desk when you're using these pens, you can just slide this box out and then you can pop that on your desk instead. Okay, let's have a little look at one of these pens. So all of the pens have the reference number and name on the top of the lid, which is really handy. And you can see the color of it as well. So when they're stored in the box, you can easily see what pens they are. And then at one end, there's like a chisel tip, which is like a broad tip. So that'd be really good for coloring large surface areas or if you want to do specific types of calligraphy, that would be really cool. And then the other end is a fine tip. So that's really good for like details and things like that. I also really like the barrel of this. So it's like triangular and I quite like how you hold that. That feels really comfortable. I like it. So these are alcohol based markers. So you just need to bear in mind what paper you use these on so they don't bleed. I think Bristol board is really good for these pens. So it's definitely worth having a little play. I've just realized that I could totally use these for my collaboration with Tom Studio because I need to do the calligraphy in an alcohol based ink. And the nib is actually quite fine compared to the pens that I was testing at his. And these are blendable. So that would actually be perfect for me to do some tests 
for Tom Studios. I just want to say a huge thank you to Artessa for sending these over to me. I will be sure to leave a link in the description below. I'm excited to give these a go. And I just love all the colours. Okay, let's get back into the studio vlog. doing are you having a good June it is gloriously sunny in the UK at the moment so I have definitely been playing outside quite a lot I thought I'd do a little studio vlog this week because I have now had all the money for my Kickstarter and I am starting to order the products for my Kickstarter but because it was actually quite a successful Kickstarter I am planning to get a couple of more products as well, which I'm really excited to buy. My aim is to do a big shop launch on my website. I haven't got a date for it yet, so I'll keep you guys updated. But we're gonna be talking lots of fun, colorful products, and I'm really excited just to introduce like a bit more of my colorful side of things uh, compared to a lot of things that are in my Etsy shop and I can't wait but it does mean I'm going to be pretty busy over the next few months because I am planning all of those new products and I am also going to be revamping my Better Brush Letters workshop that I do online, my challenge course workshop. I'm basically revamping it completely so it's bigger and better. I've sent surveys out to the people who have done my better brush letter challenges in the past and I've had some really good feedback and where things could improve and I'm really excited to get started on that. So it's going to be a busy few months for me along with moving house, things moving forward there. Don't want to say too much because I don't want to jinx it but it's going to be crazy busy. So this week I am going to be basically doing some design for these new products. I need to send off pins to my pin manufacturer, so that's exciting. And I am gonna basically be sorting out how I run my business and how I use my time in a more productive way. I am very aware that I always appear super busy. However, I don't feel like I'm very productive and interestingly, I've heard a lot of people like talking about burnout recently and how they're changing up things in their business. And I think everything opening up and going back to a new normal has made people really think about how they do things. It's no longer practical for me to spend all my time on my business because I'd actually quite like to see some family and friends and go outside and play in the sunshine. But I also don't want to kind of lose momentum either so I want to start using my time more effectively and excitingly I have a product uh, I have a productivity session with Sarah from Stationery Magpie on Saturday morning so I'll let you know how that goes but in general it's I think it's going to be a busy week of lots of little bitty things Tonight, I just need to finalise the artwork for my pins. I've just got a couple of mends I need to do just for printing purposes. So add a like cutting guide and things like that. And what else am I going to do tonight? I need to write a to-do list of everything I need to do 
just to get some clarity in my head. I've got a few emails to respond back to and I think just generally have a bit of an admin night tonight, gathering everything and starting to look forward with planning um, my days and my weeks a bit more because it's not something I really do. I kind of stopped bullet journaling. I think just kind of got out the habit of that. So I need to get into the habit of being more productive. So if you've got any tips on staying organized, being productive, how you manage your time in your business and your schedule, then let me know in the comments below because I've been doing this five years and I still don't know what I'm doing. Right, I better get on with being productive. <laughs>
some fun design bits. Okay, guys, I am in my car again. It is Thursday today, and I am just about to head to Pen Gallery, which is a really cool, like, art gallery slash shop for local artists. And I'm going to be chatting to Emma, who runs that place, and we're also meeting Tom from Tom Studio there. And we're going to be talking about an exciting event idea that I've had. So. I better go because I need to meet them in 20 minutes and it takes about 20 minutes to get there. So I will catch you guys in a bit, but I'm excited. And I'm back home. I didn't film anything when I was out because we just ended up chatting for ages. And yeah, it wasn't really like a filming situation, but there's some exciting talks of an exciting event. I can't really share much at the moment, which I know is probably really annoying. <laughs> But keep an eye out because I will be sharing more over the next few months. And especially if you're into calligraphy, this is going to be pretty big. I'm really excited. It's now half six. And I have lots of work to do tonight because I basically didn't do any of the work that I needed to do last night. I procrastinated and ended up spending ages on um, an Instagram post. But um, I'm not going to post an Instagram post tonight. I've been trying to get more consistent because I thought that was the issue with my engagement was not being consistent. But I think a lot of people are having issues with engagement on Instagram at the moment. And it's pretty depressing uh, putting a lot of effort into a post. And then it's not just about the likes, it's just the response in general. Um, <laughs> You're obviously putting yourself out there and I kind of feel like no one's seeing it at the moment which is a bit frustrating as a small business I kind of understand why it's happening because everyone is out and about now which is brilliant but um yeah it's just a bit annoying spending all this time so I'm not going to post anything today I'm actually going to get the work done I need to do because it's silly to spend my time doing stuff that isn't moving my business forward necessarily. So tonight I need to sort out um, all of the final bits of my Kickstarter. So the pins have gone off to print. I need to sort out the notepads going off to print, but I want to design another little notepad. I might just do that later I just want to get the kickstarter stuff out the door and I don't want to rush designs yeah so I might just get the kickstarter done tonight get everything off to printers I need to get the sticker printed I need to reprint the prints and I need to send off the notebook so I think I'm just going to do all of that tonight get all the artwork ready and then if I have time I will start designing some other bits that I want to make 
tomorrow you won't see much of me because it's Friday and I've got Friday off for Blink so I will next chat to you on Saturday I've got an exciting little meeting with Sarah from Station Magpie on Saturday which I'm looking forward to so yeah the bearded one is just making us a tight green curry and I am starving so I literally can't wait for that anyway I'll stop rambling now and I'll catch you in a bit. I saw you from across the room. When I rest met, I never knew that I could feel this way, and it's kind of strange. wonderful people it is Saturday morning I got up really early to go for a swim this morning turns out the uh, gym wasn't open till 8 and not 6 like it is in the week so I'm actually gonna go for a swim in a minute hence the hair makeupless face but I just wanted to come on and chat to you guys because I just had my productivity session with Sarah from the stationary magpie and it was so so helpful i have a lot going on at the moment um in terms of business and personal and i feel like i'm not using my time very productively i feel like i'm constantly busy but i'm not really achieving much so um sarah recently launched a productivity session and it was just so helpful to chat to someone about everything i've got going on and she's given me homework, which I think is actually super helpful. When you run a business by yourself, it can be very hard to like make yourself accountable because you are your boss. So having someone set me homework is just um, kind of put the pressure on me to achieve it and complete it. And like, I want to do that as well and also just how I manage my time a little bit more I feel like I just take each day as it comes at the moment and I'm a bit of a chaotic tornado so we spoke about calendar blocking and theming days so I think I'm going to just make a few adjustments in my business I'm going to spend the weekend doing that I do have some work I need to do as well um, but I just want to spend some time on my business getting it all organized and I feel if I set aside some time this weekend to do all of that then hopefully I won't feel as overwhelmed with everything that I need to do so in terms of stuff that I've got going on I am revamping and relaunching my better brush letters course it's going to be bigger better way more video content potentially some live sessions with me as well so you can ask questions throughout the challenge um, I'm really excited about it and then it will eventually go into a more intermediate one where you can start to find your own style. I've also got another calligrapher I'm working with who is a left-handed calligrapher so they are going to be creating content too so it's, I'm really excited by it but there's a lot of work and then alongside that I'm going to be launching a whole range of new products that kind of sit nicely with my create your dreams pen so there's going to be pin badges, multiple pin badges, uh, mirrors, notepads, print. I just want to build a whole product product range that kind of more suits my fun, colourful style, which I don't feel like my Etsy shop is quite achieving at the moment. And that's going to be launching on my website. So that's two pretty big things at the moment. And then alongside that, we're obviously house hunting, buying houses. Well, not houses, one house. Um, so that's quite a lot of like personal like admin life stuff and then i'm also training for a 100 mile walk um i'm doing a kind of sponsored 100 mile walk in august so we're doing 100 miles in five days and so that's about 20 25 miles a day walking which i'm just not used to doing but essentially it's raising money for my friend Vicky who is really, really ill. I'm not gonna go into too much detail now about what all of those mean, but what I'm going to do is 
leave a link in the description. Basically for this sponsored walk we are raising money for her. She is having to go through private medical care because some of her conditions are so rare. So that means that um, it's costing her a lot of money. Private medical care is insanely expensive compared to NHS here in the UK. And without raising these funds, she can't get the care that she needs. So that's quite a big thing in my life at the moment. It's obviously something very important and close to my heart. So I need to work in training for that. But yeah, essentially we're raising some money for her. It would be amazing if you are able to support in any way. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below and you can find out a little bit more about what's happened with Vicky because she is so lovely and like the happiest, most positive person in the world. She set up her own wheelchair dance company, which is incredible. And she's given like a huge lease of life to a lot of people in wheelchairs who never thought they'd be able to dance. So she's just such an amazing, important and lovely person. So that was a little rundown of everything that's going on in my life at the moment. It's quite chaotic and obviously working full time and just general business stuff, like admin stuff. I just need to figure out a way of balancing and being more productive with my time and then still having that time to enjoy myself and like not burn out basically. So this session with Sarah was amazing. Uh, she's going to be sending me over all the notes from the session and a little tar sheet as well. And then we'll have a check-in in two weeks. And basically I have support from her for 30 days, which is amazing. So I really recommend going to check her out. I'll leave a link in the description below for that too. If you're running a business, especially if you're doing something like a long full time job or you've got kids or just struggling to manage your time, I really recommend having a chat because it was so good to just make myself accountable by talking out loud, but also coming to the revelation of what is most important and how to manage that. So although I've got Better Brush Letters going on and also this new product range, Better Brush Letters is a little bit more important just because of the deadline. So we spoke about like an 80-20 split in terms of my time and I really like that idea. I am going to go for a swim now. It's grey and miserable this weekend, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the sunshine, but actually uh, the sunshine makes it quite hard to work on my business because I just want to be outside and play all the time. So the fact that it's a bit grey and miserable is quite helpful for this weekend in terms of scheduling stuff in. So after my swim, I think I'm going to just spend the day organising myself a bit. And then the rest of this weekend, I need to prepare for workshops that's happening next week. I'm doing a watercolour calligraphy workshop next week at something called Beef, which is Bournemouth Emerging Art Fringe. And I'm really excited. It's going to be my first in-person workshop in over a year. I've also never done this kind of workshop before. And I need to prepare the materials. I also have a huge chalkboard that I need to do some calligraphy on. That I said I'd do for the event. Um, which I'm excited to do. I think I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. Just so I can focus on the rest of the weekend. I will be taking you along next week for all the workshop prep that I'm doing and the actual workshops and Bournemouth Emerging Arts Fringe because it's going to be so cool. There's so much going on and I feel like it definitely needs to be vlogged because it's just going to be a really cool event with lots of amazing local artists. So I just want to say, sorry, I'm just waving this pencil around. Let's put that down. It's a Martha Brooke um, pencil. If you're wondering, I got this when I went to Stationery Social, which just happens to be where I met Sarah from Stationery Magpie. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog now. I have no idea how long it is. I think I'm gonna edit it after swimming, just so it's done another way, and I'm not having to worry about it. And then I can crack on with this weekend and just be a little bit more productive. I'm hopefully gonna go on a big walk tomorrow as well, as part of my walk training for this 100 mile walk. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I actually don't really remember what I filmed, so hopefully it was an interesting vlog, and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye!